I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everybody, this is Jason Dean with the Joe Blow Movie Network. All big name actors have to start somewhere. That could mean playing an extra with no lines to doing a minor character with just one scene. So let's count down our top 10 actors you didn't realize were in big movies. At number 10 is Jim Halpert from The Office, or John Krasinski now that he's made a name for himself, particularly in the recent film 13 Hours. John had a very short scene here in Jarhead from 2005 when he was literally a nobody with some small TV roles under his belt. He's almost unrecognizable here with a crew cut and glasses. Later that year is when he broke out with a role in the American version of The Office, which started him on to bigger and better things. 40 bucks, five gallons. At number 9 is a now recognizable actress who was very little known in 1990 when she had a minor walk-on role in Kindergarten Cop. Angela Bassett plays a stewardess here and has literally two lines. Before this, she had a string of television appearances and some minor work, but afterwards she has been a very steady actress with credits as producer and director as part of her more recent accomplishments. Is your wife okay, sir? Compared to what? At number 8 is our soon-to-be Lex Luthor from the new Batman vs. Superman movie coming up. It's Jesse Eisenberg playing a minor role in the M. Night Shyamalan movie, The Village. It was basically his first real film role, and from there he exploded onto the Hollywood scene with movies like Adventureland, Zombieland, and The Social Network, where he was nominated for an Oscar. Little did we know where this guy was going to go when we saw The Village. Julianne Moore was not entirely new to acting in 1993, but you could tell she was a natural with even a small role in the insanely famous movie The Fugitive with Harrison Ford here at number 7. She plays a nurse who starts to suspect the hospital janitor of not being who he says he is. While the role had screen time of only a few minutes, it was time well spent, particularly while we all know now how she has gone on to such huge movies like Children of Men, Crazy Stupid Love, and of course, her Oscar-winning role in Still Alice. Stand right there. At number six is a biggie, Hollywood royalty, at least when it comes to method acting. Daniel Day-Lewis had almost nothing to speak of in the way of acting roles in 1982, and it would be another seven years before he would win an Oscar for My Left Foot. But 82 was the year a blockbuster historical biopic came out called Gandhi, and it became an instant classic. But you might not have known that Daniel Day-Lewis played a bully who threatens the title character here on the street. A small role, but definitely a memorable one that shows what to expect from him in the future. Joe Manganiello lands at number 5 with a small but familiar role in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man from 2002. Joe was cast as Flash Thompson, which is a very well-known character, but a small role for sure. Though his screen time is short, the time he's on screen is memorable not just for his portrayal of the character, but also for the importance of those moments when Peter Parker is learning about his new powers. Manganiello played the role again in 2007 in Spider-Man 3, and then went on to become well-known for True Blood and the Magic Mike movies, among other things. At number four is Jason Siegel from the well-known movie Can't Hardly Wait. He had the unbelievable privilege of playing the extremely important role of Watermelon Guy, who shares his only scene shown here with Stoner Guy. That movie cast list is pretty funny since there are only six characters with actual names, while the hundred or other so cast members are all just generic descriptions. But it worked out well for him since we all know him now for things like How I Met Your Mother, The Muppets, and Forgetting Sarah Marshall. You know who else I like who never got much play is Velma from Scooby-Doo. Right. Mad Max is here at number three, or who would later become Max, is here in his first film role completely unrecognizable to anybody that might know of him today. Credited as Thomas Hardy, we see Tom Hardy here in a small but reasonably substantial role from the 2001 film Black Hawk Down. Having only played a similar style of role for Band of Brothers that same year, Tom Hardy of course later broke out as an amazing actor for Mad Max Fury Road, The Revenant, and The Dark Knight Rises. His Hollywood star is continuously growing, and I suspect his best is even yet to come. Huh? Oh, he's deaf. He says it's my fault. I, uh, we need to get out of here. 
Michael Fassbender is known mostly as a young Magneto and more recently Steve Jobs. But you definitely didn't know it then and you might not even figure it out now if you didn't look closely, but he had a fairly good sized role in the Zack Snyder blockbuster movie 300. Here we see him almost unrecognizable as the Spartan warrior Stelios, which is a far cry from the kinds of things he is known for now. But we all gotta start somewhere. Oddly, he also starred alongside Tom Hardy in Band of Brothers back in 2001. My arm! It's not yours anymore. Go now. Run along and tell your Xerxes he faces free men here, not slaves. And our number one is pretty damn obscure. You have to be a pretty big fan of hers to know this or have one heck of an eye. Dazed and Confused was host to a number of up-and-coming actors that are big today. Matthew McConaughey was one of them. But here's a shocker for you. The girl that just walked by was Renee Zellweger. That's right, it was literally a walk-by-the-camera role with no speaking line and almost no ability to even recognize her. She had one more scene, again with no lines, shown here with her sitting on a car hood at an outdoor party. She's a bit more recognizable if you know her, but otherwise you would probably assume it's just an extra in the background. So there's our favorite movies with big name actors you didn't know were in them. Tell us down below your favorite entry on this list. I'm Jason Dean for the Joe Blow Movie Network and thanks for watching.